Welcome back to Live at 5 and 4. Neil Denton is here to answer some of your lawn care questions. Neil, here's the first one we got from a viewer. They say, I have several comments and questions about copperheads and cicadas. What is the truth there? Do, do you need more context? Do you have an idea what they're talking about here, Neil? I don't know. My mom asked me about this, Neil, so I feel like it's circulating. Yeah, I mean, there's a picture out there that shows a copperhead actually getting one of the cicadas. That is the annual cicada, the one that comes every year. We have a few of those that come out of the ground. The periodic cicadas, of course, come up, and it is a, fe it is a feast for a lot of animals. And some snakes do eat insects. Copperheads included have been documented, I understand, to eat insects. So it is a food source, but I don't think they necessarily go hunting them unless they are hungry. They're <laughs> typically looking for rodents and those kind of things, but it is protein. As carnivores, they may go for it. I don't think you're going to see more than normal around, but certainly you could see them. Um, because they're here and they've been, <laughs> they're always here. Copperheads are typically a fairly elusive snake, but you can run up on them. I don't think there's any evidence that more snake bites occur when cicadas come out. Well, speaking of cicadas, Neil, Tom wants to know if cicadas come out every year. We know the 17 year kind, but do ones come out every year? Yeah, there are, there are an annual type of cicada that comes up every year. Usually later in the summer, we'll have a few come up and you'll hear them calling later in the year. So there's annual ones that recur every year. Awesome. And then last question here, Neil, really quick. How often, Timothy asks, should I water my landscape shrubs if I've planted them in the fall at my new house? Well, you need to water them quite often right now. We're in a really dry period. It doesn't look like it's going to get better and it's uh, for a while and it's really hot. So I would start watering and keep watering until this weather breaks and we start getting some rainfall. Great advice as always, Neil. Thank you so much.